I'm here at West Angle Bay in sunny Pembrokeshire, just a little bit inland on the Clairdoy Estuary here. We're going to meet, meeting up with Simon and Chris in a minute, and we're going to start our two-day adventure going along the Pembrokeshire coast, and we'll cut along to Saundersfoot for the wild camp overnight at Barrafungal Bay. Uh, let's see how we get on, just got to wait for the boys to turn up. Okay, we got Arian carrying the kayak down. Didn't know he was coming today, but he's here. So uh, we're gonna have a little paddle with him as well. Awesome. We can pack all the equipment we need for the trip into the kayaks. The weight really isn't an issue, because you won't notice it when you're paddling. And if you're a novice, you'll probably appreciate the weight as it makes the kayaks much more stable for you. It takes about 30 minutes to load the kayaks and to be honest we're not really in a rush as we're enjoying the lovely weather at West Angle. Once loaded we make some final checks, have a debrief and get ourselves on the water. We're on the road again. <laughs> Cheesy. We're on the road to nowhere. Come on inside. One of the many joys of sea kayaking is the ability to explore the hidden gullies and islets of the shoreline. And the geology of the Pembrokeshire coastline is an extraordinary place for your coastal discovery and adventure. It's also a great place for a quick game of follow the leader. Rock geology here is for me what makes this such a spectacular place to paddle. We started in West Angle where the rocks are old red sandstone, and then from Linney Head to our camp tonight at Barrafundal we will be passing Carboniferous Limestone and the dramatic rock sculptures that go with it. Back in 2011 I paddled the whole of the Welsh coastline, and the area between Linney Head and St Govans was my favourite part of the whole of Wales, a sentiment shared by many other sea kayakers as well. Taking regular breaks is all part of the journey. Find a beach, pull over, make a brew. Makes the day perfect. Dramatic folds of sedimentary rock 
and towering sea stacks seem quite normal along this stretch of coastline and add to the rugged beauty of the area. Geology is fantastic, but so too are the wildlife. On our journey today, we'll see plenty of seals. On top of the cliffs, we got nesting guillemots. There's even a few humans looking down on us as well. Here we've come to the Green Bridge of Wales. It's one of the most famous and spectacular landmarks in Wales. It's near to low water now, but come here to high water and you'll be able to paddle straight through the arch. Sometime in the future we can expect the roof to collapse and for the arch to then become a stack like so many others have along this coastline. Here Simon's being treated to a fantastic display by the nesting guinea moths. The sky's pretty awesome too. <laughs> Eventually we catch sight of Barrafundal Bay in our home for the night. Barrafundal is a jewel of the Pembrokeshire coastline, 
Several times it has made the top 10 of one of the world's best beaches, and we're going to be camping there tonight. Life really is a beach. These are not naan breads, they're bannocks. Have you got all of them? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Make a quick final check, make sure we've left no litter behind. And then we get back on the water.
Clad of Thundal is close to Stackpole, which itself sits on a natural fault line and a division between the Carboniferous Limestone Cliffs that we were paddling yesterday and the Old Red Sandstone Cliffs that we will be paddling today. Due to time commitments, the boys have decided to do a shorter day today, so we'll be finishing our paddle at Manatee. All too soon, Manabia comes into view, and with it the end of our weekend Pembrokeshire adventure. It's been an amazing journey, with fab company, amazing scenery, and wonderful wildlife. There's a list of camping dates to view on my website calendar, but I can always plan a trip to suit when you're available, as well as trips for novices or experienced paddlers alike. I look forward to showing you the wonders of the coastline. Thanks for watching.